joy or happiness, success or failure, peace or dismay. The foundations of our life rest on the words we receive. A word of hope and guidance, translated from the Temple of Solomon in Brazil. You are listening to a word of faith with Bishop Macedo. Univer Video is your platform for Christian content, and it gives you access to the church meetings of the Universal Church around the world, and they are in English. Even the meetings at the Temple of Solomon that provide live, simultaneous translations to English. All you have to do is sign up. And this is how. Visit www.univervideo.com online or download the application on your mobile device and complete the simple registration form. Have your bank card ready and choose your terms of payment. And before you know it, you'll be up and running. Stay connected to the things of faith during the 21 days fast of Daniel. Hello, my friends. God bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. May He bless you by opening your understanding. and making you understand His will for your life. Because when we do the will of God, we feel secure. When we do the will of God, we live by faith. We have confidence. We are complete. Because we know we are pleasing Him. But when we do not do the will of God, then we know that we are in sin, that we are wrong, in the wrong path. And it's obvious when we do the will of the flesh, the will of the heart, the will which is not of God, then we enter in shock with the Spirit. We enter in shock, in conflict, in intimate conflict. So there is no peace. There is no security. There is no confidence. Faith is mixed with doubt. So a person enters the world of tribulations, despair, chaos, and then obviously the person is normally discouraged, the weak get discouraged in faith, the weak get discouraged in faith, why? Because they allow their conscience to be contaminated with doubt, with fear. Because they're not doing the will of God. That's it, my friend. And when a person lives far from the will of God, they live far from the kingdom of God. Because in the kingdom of God, People live according to the King, the Lord, isn't it? Those who live in Brazil are subject to the Brazilian laws. Those who live in the United States are subject to the, to the laws of the United States. And that's how it is. Those who live in the kingdom of God are subject to the laws of the kingdom of God. And the laws of the kingdom of God are for our good. It's not like the laws of this world, which is for the good. I won't even say this because I become revolted and I will spit out fire. But those who live in the kingdom of God are subject to the justice of God. 
those who live subject to the will of God and do the will of God, they live in peace. They live in peace with themselves and above all with God. So the peace which the world seeks, they'll never have because the world works against God. The world is an ally of the devil. Society is an ally of the devil of hell. And they don't want to do the will of God because the will of God does not please them. The will of God requires character, a true conduct, that sincere and honest conduct of integrity. A person who lives in the will of God lives in peace with God because he is doing the will of God. But when he does not live in the will of God, he enters in conflict and everything he does goes wrong and many get discouraged of faith because they think faith is to do magic, to bring benefits every day. But not always will a person conquer every day. At times they'll lose. And while they don't do the will of God, they will lose and always lose. So, my friend, the Lord Jesus teaches us that the will of God needs to be above everything. Firstly, in the prayer, he says, Our Father, hallowed be thy name. The first thing he asks for. Then he says, Your kingdom come. The second thing. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Meaning, three fundamental things in the life of a Christian. The first, to sanctify the name of the Lord Jesus. The second, to ask for the kingdom of God to come. The third, that the will of God will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Imagine if they're in heaven, the will of God is perfectly answered and done. Imagine here on earth. Of course, we live in a, in a corrupt society. But when a person has a conscience of this and starts to do the will of God, then they are integrated in the kingdom of God, doing the will of God as the angels do in heaven. And this is what makes one happy, happy with themselves and above all happy with God because they please God. As David said, Delight yourself in the Lord and He will satisfy the desires of your heart. Meaning firstly the will of God. And when we do the will of God, He will supply, He will complete, He will please us with what we need, with what we're in need of. Not with our will, but with what is necessary, which is our daily bread. So, my friend, perhaps you are living in conflict. Perhaps you haven't found yourself yet with God because you think that faith is a magic wand that performs this magic that once you manifest this faith, this needs to happen, that needs to happen, everything according to your will. And then when it does not happen, you become frustrated, you become discouraged. Then of course, the devil blows a lot of thoughts and most of the times, people accept these thoughts and apply them in their lives. So, the effectiveness of the will of God. Think about this. When you do the will of God, 
You live in peace. You are in peace. When you do not do it, you are in conflict. Which has nothing to do with tribulation. Tribulation is a preparation for us to live by faith, from faith to faith, to mature in faith, to be mature in faith, to stop being children, always in need of spiritual milk. Maturity in faith comes with tribulations. Tribulations form part of the authentic faith, the will of God. Yes, God permits tribulations. Yes, that's it. He wants to teach us, and in tribulations we learn. May God bless you. May He bless you by opening your understanding. I don't want God to do magic in your life. No, I want that God enlightens your understanding. That once, knowing what you have to do, you will have courage to apply, execute, and do the will of God. And then, and then, conquer the eternal life. God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Until tomorrow. UCKG Helpline Call Center is open 24 hours a day, every day of the week, all year round. If you need help due to a serious problem you may be going through, if you feel that you have nowhere to turn to and desperately need someone to lend a listening ear, then we can help you. It doesn't matter who you are or what you have done, your religion or race. Your call will be answered by someone who genuinely cares about you and have your best interests at heart. We also arrange home visits for the housebounds and hospital visits for anyone in great need of kindly human contact. Whether it is simply information you want or desperately need someone to talk to, we're here for you.